amazing day for me today. Hi traders, recap of my trading session today. As you can see, that's the start of the trading session. The market is down, the S&P is down more than 0.5%. Nasdaq is down more than 1%. Take a look at this topping tail. It tried to move higher. That's a five minute candle. It failed. Now it's trying to move under the lows. Therefore, my candidates should be short candidates. And first one would be OCGN because as you can see, it's down 15%. Therefore, maybe a gap and go meaning starting with a gap down and continues so i'm looking for the point of reversal approximately 1320 and it is approaching watch the buyers here 1320 right now i'm clicking the button and i'm short 12,000 shares expecting it to move under the lows stop should be around uh, 30 cents so i'm looking for a move down uh, all the way down to 1280 and you can see it already really touched there and uh, at the first sign of a pullback, which is happening right now, I'm taking my partial. Well, actually a little bit less than 30 cents, uh, but I'm happy. You know, it's the first few minutes and you never know what's coming next. So I'm still riding it with 1,000 shares. Now, I keep watching at all times the S&P 500. And as you can see, this is a third five-minute candle and we're coming down. We're coming down very, very strong, meaning again, when the market is starting with the gap down and fails to move higher, then it's likely to continue. As, and as you can see right here, there's a big, big downside uh, momentum. That's why I'm looking at Tesla now. Tesla is down 1.3%. No big deal. But as you can see, try to move higher. It failed. Now it's clearly trending lower. Since the market's not really stopping, I'm about to short Tesla because I expect the momentum. Just shorted 4,000 shares. The, what you're seeing here in Tesla is a very nice downside momentum. Again, another candidate, MOS, it's down 5% and it seems like it's about to fail to continue to move higher and I'm about to short over here 12,000 shares. So again, stop is relatively close um, and uh, hopefully it will continue lower. NVEX is another candidate, this one is down 4% and once more, a stock that starts with a gap down, fails to move higher, and I'm about to short at the reversal right here under 185. Just click that button and I'm short 4,000 shares. If the S&P is going to continue coming down, then NVX will come down under the losses. So again, it's a trend. It's the trend of the S&P 500 and the trend of the stocks that you're trading. Now take a look at the S&P. It does not look that it's about to stop. Already at that point, the S&P is down more than 1%. So we are moving down. Take a look at Tesla. Tesla just responded. I'm up. $10,000, about to take my partial, took right here, left 600 shares for a continued move of Tesla. Because again, Tesla came down with a big gap down, came down with a lot of momentum and the gap down and just continued and take a look at the S&P 500 right now. You can see here that S&P is down more than 1%, Nasdaq is down 1.57 or so, and we are moving lower. Now here comes NVEX, which finally responds to the market. Well, it took it some time, but it just touched a new low over here. And I'm expecting some more movement. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit so you can see what happened there. Now, as you can see, I'm up uh, $7,000 or so. It keeps moving lower. Now I'm up more than $10,000, $11,000. About to take my partial at the point of uh, return, which is now a small sign of a pullback. You can see the bottoming tail over here. I took my partial, so that was another great trade with market direction, always important. Now, MOS is going the wrong way. Uh, well, you know, you have to ask yourself, why does that happen? Well, first, you can see that my stop is going to be here, 33.51. I already have a hard stop in the system. I don't always usually do that, but uh, I was too busy with other stocks as well. So you can see here, and right now it moved over and my hard stop just uh, came through. So, well, not all stocks go with the market. Some of them have more buyers than sellers. That's what happened to uh, MOS. Here's the result. I'm up over $20,000 and that all happened in like 30 minutes or so. So that's a great day. That's a great day. You know, you don't have to be a great trader to make that much money when the market is going your way. When the S&P starts with a gap down and just continues to come down, clear market direction and you pick the right stocks. You know, I picked stocks which are uh, which, which are outperforming the market, meaning the market is down 1%, uh, Tesla was down 2 or more than that percent, and uh, MOS down 5%, well, that did, didn't work out. OCGN uh, it, it was down 15%. So when you have a stock that is weaker than the market and the market keeps moving lower, those who are weaker 
from the market will probably deliver more. Well, traders, if you like this video so far, how about giving us a thumb up? Really helps our channel, helps more people like you find this channel and hopefully learn a little bit more about uh, trading. And if you want to know more about uh, day trading, there's a lot of links right here below, which you can click on and there's uh, um, access there to our live trading room and a lot of uh, free materials. So you're welcome to join over there. And if you want to be notified of my future uploads, there's a button right here so you can subscribe and hit this notification bell so you will know of my future uploads. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.